Hey guys, Andy here, and today we have our intro for me for the Color Pan 2.0 project. This was created by Misty Pans, and this is a Pantastic Ladies collab. And if you want to know more about this project and see how I'm going to be rolling things in, then please just stay tuned. As always, if you love my makeup, everything I'm wearing, and all of my socials, I had to think about my intro, all of my socials will be listed in the description box. And if you like makeup unboxings with a little bit of horror sprinkled in, please consider subscribing as I would love to have you here. Let's just go ahead and get on into it. <music> All right, guys, so like I said, this is a ColourPop project pan, basically. And so the only real rule to this project is you're only allowed to use ColourPop, Fourth Ray Beauty, and Soul Beauty product products, because that's the ColourPop brands. It's a rolling style project. It says to pick three to six items and set your own goals and to update around the 18th of the month. This started last month in January, but I didn't think I was going to have room in my schedule to do this, even though I really wanted to, and I didn't want to overwhelm myself with starting too many projects in January, but I'm doing really good on my products and rolling things out, and all of the projects that I've started have been not eyeshadow. The only eyeshadow project I'm doing is my Pan That Palette. And I just want to start mixing things up. So I figured what better way to do that than to work on one of the brands that I have the most items from. So I'm going to be rolling in six ColourPop products, because, especially because I'm starting this a month late. This goes to December 18th of this year. So, you know, I got to make up for that one month of lost time. And we're, I have them all in a wheel. The only little caveat I am going to say to this is... My High Tide palette, which is in my Nightmare on Panning Street, if that happens, it is in the wheel because once it rolls out of my Nightmare on Panning Street, if it rolls into that project, I will use it. But until it's out of my Nightmare on Panning Street, like if it rolls in today, I am going to skip it because it's currently in another project, as well as my ColourPop Icebreaker Gel Liner. This is in my Beauty A to Z project, so if this gets rolled in today, I will be skipping that as well. But everything else that I have from ColourPop is in this wheel, and it is fair game. So we are just going to spin the wheel here. All right, so the first item is a Super Shock Shadow in the shade Bay. So let me write this down. Okay, so next we have my Super Shock in the shade Ember. So let's get that. Ember. All right. Next one. I hope we don't get six Super Shocks. Super Shock in the shade Golden Age. All right. Next up here. Super Shock in the shade Tankini. I promise, guys, I have more than just my Super Shocks in here. I have my one highlighter. I have all of my liners, my lip liner. I have all of my palettes. Like, how have we gotten only Super Shocks? That is not what I wanted, but we'll see. Okay, we got an eyeliner in the shade Joyride which I think is a, like, maroon burgundy. I will pull all of these out. One, two, three, four, five. So we have one more roll in. Yay, a palette! We have the On Cloud Blue palette. Yay! 
So I'm going to go pull all of these products and think about what I want my goals to be for these. And I will be back. That took me forever to find the eyeliner. So I guess we'll start with that. So like I said, this is in the shade Joyride. And it is like a deep burgundy maroon. It almost looks brown. So we have that. Hmm. My four Super Shock shades. I'm still thinking on what goals I want. So this is the shade Golden Age. It is a black with gold glitter. Then we have the shade Bay, which is like a duochrome purpley blue with like a black in the base bay is such a pretty color i can't believe i picked like i can't believe it randomized my two darkest super shock shades we have the shade tankini which is a bright like yellowy gold right there that's tankini Hmm. Then we have the last Super Shock, and this one is the shade Ember, which is like a blue, silver, gray, which is right there. So that's a very interesting array of Super Shocks. And then... Really quick, I'm going to pop off camera and swatch the palette for you. But this is what the On Cloud Blue palette looks like here. So I'm going to wipe these off and swatch the palette and I'll be right back. All right, so this is the palette as a whole. It's so pretty. I love the shimmers. I love the mattes. I think this will pair really well with my High Tide palette. Um, so there is that. I'm literally just still thinking of what I want my goals to be. Because I know the goal should be, oh, you should hit pan. But like, it's so hard for me to hit pan and things that I don't, I want there to be rollouts monthly. Like, but I also don't want it to be super fresh. Like, I want the palette to have a slightly longer usage goal. But, like, the Super Shocks would be fun because I have so many. I mean, I have so many of the palettes, too. So that's why I just, I don't know what I want my goals to be for these. Because I don't think hitting pan is a realistic goal for me. Because I'm just not very good at hitting pan on these things. And like the eyeliner. You don't really hit pan on an eyeliner. You would just finish it. And uh, finishing the eye, it would be in here for the whole year. And I just don't want that. I don't want to get discouraged by this project. I want, there, I want this to be more fun. I want this to be what changes things up. Especially because, you know, it's set your own goals. So... I don't know what I want to do. Probably should have thought about that before I decided to film this video. I mean, I guess I could put a three usage goal on like I hate odd numbers so like that would bother me and a two usage goal seems so dumb I think for this first month I'm just going to see what I gravitate towards. I want to be able to use, I want to use all these things at least once. 
obviously I need to use them. If they, if they don't get used, they're not rolling out. But I think I don't want to set any goals at this particular moment because I can't think of any goals personally. I just want to see how much I use them in the coming month and maybe next month I will have a better thought process of what I want my goals to be. I know that that's probably not very conducive for you guys to watch, but I just don't know what I want my goals to be for this. So I'm going to leave that open right now. If you have any suggestions on what you think I should make these goals for a shorter turnaround, I would love to know in the comments because that would be so helpful. Or if you're doing this project, let me know because like I would watch it and that might give me some inspo and that would be so helpful. But otherwise, I'm happy with the roll-ins. I'm excited to see what that helps me do creatively. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next month's update for this and I will see you in the next video for what we have in store next. <laughs> Bye guys.